Magic 106.1, number one for classic soul and today's R&B. That's music coming to you from Trey Songs, and I only want what's best for you. And guess what? As always, I only want what's best for you. Look, I have with me this morning Marcus Michaels of Michaels and Booth. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning, Sunshine. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, as always. It's so different, man. We're, we're here in, in the flesh. It's not on the phone. That's right. We're looking at with each this other. big I... Magic 106 sign. <laughs> Got your hair right today. <laughs> Every day. You're having a good hair day today. Yes, it's a good hair today. <laughs> you see, the weather's beautiful on the outside. It's not all pooped up. And it's ready to do what we got to do. But we got to share this with your listeners. I said, man, you look good today. And you said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, so glad to have you here, Mark. It's been a while since we did it like this before. Hey, you know what? It brings back old memories, doesn't it? How many years ago was it when we started this show? Eight years ago. Eight years. And I was sitting down here wondering what you were going to ask me, how mm-hmm. it was going to go, uh-huh. and it went well. It went very well. Mm-hmm. You know what? Mm-hmm. Everybody, let's give you a refresher just a little bit. We know what Marcus does. He's going to tell you what he does, and we're going to take a caller. Yeah, well, I represent people that have been hurt and injury or injured in accidents that were not their fault. Mm-hmm. So generally speaking, we represent a lot of folks who have been hurt in car accidents, right? slip and fall accidents, mm-hmm. nursing home problems, mm-hmm. medical negligence issues. Mm-hmm. We've got some great lawyers that do workers' comp, you know, mm-hmm. where people get hurt on the job. And Absolutely. we've got a great, great, great lawyer that does Social Security disability. So basically, if you've been hurt on the job at work, if you've been hurt out r- running around in your car... We try to get the insurance companies to do the right thing. And you're yeah. grinning there because I always say that. You know, if the insurance company will take care of the people that are hurt, mm-hmm. then the people that are hurt don't need lawyers. That's right. If they do the right thing, then I don't ever, I don't ever hear about it. Yeah, but- I hear about it because the insurance companies aren't doing the right thing, and we try to persuade them to do the right thing. <laughs> That's that word. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Marcus, since we've been talking and uh, you're so persuasive, I want to take a call from a listener. Good. Just to ask you something about what you do. Hey, maybe they have a question. Maybe they've been in an accident. And they do not. They do not know what to do. We're, we're not playing stump the lawyer, are we? We're not. This, 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 this is supposed to be an easy question. I hope these callers are going to take it easy, right? <laughs> I hope so. Well, you know, we've got someone on the line right about now. Let's check it out. Uh, right. Good morning. Who am I talking to? This is Jason. Hi, Jason. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself, Miss Sunshine? I'm doing well. And of course, you know, we have Marcus Michaels in the studio. I do. Hey, uh-huh. Jason. How you doing? I'm doing great, Mr. Michaels. I um, had a question that really didn't pertain to me as much as uh, I've got a friend who works at a, a refinery, a plant, yeah. and um, he actually uh, was injured on the job. He, uh, to, just to make it brief, he dropped uh, a piece of equipment, industrial equipment, on his foot and ended up breaking uh, several of his toes. Um, and so when he went to his... Um, his HR department to uh, talk about his benefits and how he needed to proceed. He was told that uh, um, he's responsible for keeping his safety, purchasing his own safety equipment and making sure it's up to code and that uh, the, the uh, steel toe boots he had on, I guess it was, uh, were 18 to 24 months old. And so they're disputing whether or not he did his part in keeping his equipment current and uh, safe. And so I just wanted to see what your thoughts were regarding that. Well, let me tell you, first and foremost, as, a, as just a fair disclaimer, I don't practice workers' comp personally because I've never learned it. It's a very, very specialized area. We have, I think, the best workers' comp lawyers in the city. I'm not kidding you. I think Brian Carter mm-hmm. is the best in the business. But what he's taught me, and I'll try to help you in, in this respect for your friend, what he's taught me is, is that the workers' comp statute in Florida is written largely to the benefit of the employer. There's a, there's a trade in the workers' comp system. You automatically get coverage if you get hurt on the job. But the problem is, is that the employer is holding all the cards. They tell you who to go see, which doctor you have to see. Those doctors that work for the company, those doctors are generally very conservative. And their, their job is not to say that you're hurt hmm. and not to say that you need an ongoing care, not to say that you need ongoing benefits. Their job is to say, hey, you're fine. Get back on the job. Mm -hmm. In this situation, it doesn't sound uncommon from what I've been told that the employer is looking for ways to place the responsibility on the injured worker. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it is, but in my profession, it's always blame the victim. Mm -hmm. I've never understood that. This guy's at work. He's on the job. He's doing what he's getting paid to do. He's doing a fair day's work for a fair day's wage, and he gets hurt. 
What are they going to do? Turn around and tell you your shoes are too old? Your boots are too old? Are you kidding me? I, I can't solve this problem over the radio, obviously, but what I would say is that this gentleman needs to consult somebody that works in the workers' compensation world, mm -hmm. whether it's us or another good firm. There's plenty of good firms out there, but whether it's us or somebody else, he needs to talk to him because what happens is – you're somewhat powerless. You know, there's this big machine. Your employer's got your job. They've got their doctors. They got this big machine, mm -hmm. and you're just a small piece. And it, probably your friend's never been through this before. He probably has no idea that he has the right to have a one time change of physician. So if there's a doctor and that doctor's not treating him right, he's got the ability to make a a request to switch that. And the case management workers that handle workers' comp, look, they're dedicated professionals, but they work for the man. Absolutely. You know, they work for the industry. They don't work for the injured victim. So, Absolutely. you know, look, people say, Marcus, you know, I, we don't really understand what you do. I say it's pretty simple. We try to even out the playing field between the injured person and the big machine that's trying to grind up the injured person, which is either an insurance company or, or, or the work environment or, you know, the employer. It's usually a big man versus a little man. Right. I like I like working for the little man. <laughs> so what we would do now, if it were me, I would just encourage them to call your office to get an appointment with Brian. Well, I would do that, too, except I want to be fair. <laughs> you know, Brian's not the only guy in town. I'm not down here just saying, hey, call us. But I'm telling you this, we're happy to help people. Absolutely. I'm very confident, Absolutely. very confident in Brian's abilities. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I sincerely believe, I recruited him right. and I brought him, he used to work for the industry. He used to work as a comp defense guy. Wow. I basically bribed him to switch sides and come work for the injured worker. <laughs> and I'll and I tell you what, he is very, very good at his job. Absolutely. Yeah. So today, Marcus, with your being here, if a person would like to get in front of you just as I am, they can call you, right? Yeah, they can call me in Pensacola, 438-4848. Uh, we're working, look, people that work at, at our firm, they work. That's you know, right. They, they care about their people and they care about their clients and they're at the they're on the job, mm -hmm. you know. And you can reach me there. They can reach me in Fort Walton Beach. I was over there yesterday. I get over there a couple of times a week. We've mm -hmm. got full time lawyers over there and a big staff, big building, nice facility. Mm -hmm. That's eight six four four eight four eight. And then we got a Crestview office. I was in it yesterday too, and you usually handle that. It's six eight three four eight four eight. There it is. There you go. Right. Marcus, thank you for stopping by. Hey, it was my pleasure. It's great to see you again, Sunshine. We gotta do it again soon. We will do that. No doubt about it. All right. Everybody, that's Marcus. Michaels of Michaelson Booth. Make sure if you need his help, reach out. He can help you.